Hello, this is Lulu, Sarah, and Zandra. We're going to be creating a non-inverting op amp follower with the 741 op amp. Before we create the circuit, we will first look at the circuit diagram for the op amp. As the circuit diagram shows here, VIN is connected to the non-invert input, which is pin 3. VL is connected to the inverting input, which is pin 2. An ideal op amp has equal non-inverting voltage and inverting voltage. For this circuit, this means your VL is always equal to your VN, and hence the gain is 1. Now let's build the circuit on the breadboard. First, let's set the positive voltage supply and negative voltage supply. Turn on the experimental board and measure the voltage output from the positive connection with a voltmeter. Adjust the voltage knob until the voltmeter reads positive 15 volts. Move the voltmeter cable from the positive voltage power supply to the negative voltage power supply while leaving the ground cable where it is. Adjust the negative voltage knob until the readout on the voltmeter is negative 15 volts. Turn the experimental board off. From the experimental board, connect the positive voltage supply to pin 7, which is the positive voltage supply pin on the op amp. Then connect the negative voltage supply to the negative voltage connection, which is pin 4. Turn on the function generator. Adjust the frequency to be about 1 kHz and change the waveform to a sine wave. Connect the function generator to pin 3, which is the non-inverting input. Connect pin 2, the inverting input, to pin 6, which is V out. Connect the input signal and signal at V out to the oscilloscope using channel 1 and channel 2, respectively. Turn on the experimental board. You should be unable to distinguish between the two waveforms. This is because V in and V out are equivalent. If you adjust the vertical position of one of the waveforms, you will be able to see that there are in fact two signals superimposed on one another. You have successfully created an op-amp follower.